My name is Alan. I live in Calgary, Alberta. I was at work and I, I had what we think was probably a mini stroke. I went to see my doctor who sent me for an echocardiogram and a carotid artery ultrasound. And from that, they discovered I was in atrial fibrillation. I was told at that point that I'd probably need a pacemaker. It was kind of scary at first. Oh my God, you know, what a way to start retirement. <laughs> MRI is a crucial test for diagnosing things like stroke, brain tumors, sometimes more common problems such as investigations for back pain or joint pain. And sometimes it's the one test that can give an answer when other tests cannot. We've had MRI conditional devices accessible for a few years now and we've been using them. There's a very good chance that many of our patients will need an MRI in their lifetime. So Alan was one of those patients we thought would be appropriate for an MRI conditional device. It never occurred to me that there were different kinds of pacemakers. I just trusted my cardiologist to pick the right one for me. After I got my pacemaker, I found out that I needed an MRI for my pancreas. I'd never thought of my pacemaker preventing me from getting an MRI. You know, there are estimates that 10% of the population will need an MRI every year, and for patients with cardiac devices, you know, 50 to 75% of them will need an MRI in their lifetime. An MRI conditional system is important to the patient so that they can still access the imaging technologies that can be used. These days I'm feeling great. I like to go for walks and ride my bike get out and enjoy my free time. I'm so happy that my cardiologist gave me a pacemaker which lets me get an MRI. I hope all cardiologists would do that for their patients.